Hello, and welcome to the Kennel Connection training video on setting and managing boarding rates in Kennel Connection. In this video, we'll be looking at the different ways you can set rates for boarding stays and how to adjust them both in the system and on the reservation. When setting up your boarding rates, the first place you want to go to is the system options section. In the system options section, we're going to go to the boarding tab. Here we have some settings to designate how boardings are billed. First, we choose whether the charge by day, by night, or by hour. Keep in mind that when charging by night, you will be charging for overnight stays. So if we have a pet that comes in on a Monday and leaves on a Tuesday, charging by day will charge them for two days. Charging by night will only charge them for one night. Then we have an option to charge by run rate or by pet weight. Choosing the charge by pet weight will apply rates based on the pet's weight and by weight ranges set up in the list section, which we'll get to shortly. When selecting charge by run rate, this will ensure that Kennel Connection only charges by run rates set up in the run section of lists. Without this option checked, we can still use runs to apply rates, but the system will also look for rates in other areas of the program as well. The require run numbers option will not allow a reservation to be saved unless it has a run selected. And you'll notice that if we uncheck require run numbers, the option to charge by run rate will be grayed out. Then under the board settings tab, we have the option to set charges or discounts to boarding stays based on the pet's check-in or check-out. For a more detailed overview of the board settings section, I recommend our training video on discount setup in Kennel Connection. But I will mention, since we're here, that if you do set up charges or discounts for a pet stay based on the check-in and check-out times, you will want to make sure that under the Options tab of the Boarding tab, you select Adjust In-Out Time on Pet Check-In-Out. This will ensure that the charges or discounts you set up in the board settings tab are applied appropriately based on the pet's actual check-in and check-out time. Once we've got these basic settings in place, we want to go and enter our rates. The first place you can go to enter rates is the inventory section. In the inventory section, you would find the board item and this is the default item. You can confirm that it is the default board item that comes with the program by selecting it, then looking in the right-hand side to see if the code is grayed out and that the inactive option is grayed out. Also, if this is the default board item, if we try to delete it, Kennel Connection will not let us. This boarding item in the inventory section is a good place to set a rate if you have a flat rate for the entire facility for pets that stay no matter what the length is or the type of pet, etc. So let's say we have a boarding rate of $20 per day per pet, regardless of the stay or any other situation. We can simply set that here, and as long as there are no other rates set up in the system, Kennel Connection will grab this default boarding rate to apply to boarding reservations. The next area to set up boarding rates would be the list section. When we open the list section, the breeds tab is the first item to show. Here we can set rates for individual breeds. And then when a reservation is made for a pet with that breed attached to it, that rate will apply. The rate you're going to enter will be in the board rate field on the right hand side after you select the breed from the breed list. There is not an option to add a rate to multiple breeds at the same time. However, we do have an adjust all rates option 
in the Breeds tab that can be used for any of these services set up in Breeds. So if we want to adjust boarding rates for all of our breeds by, say, raising them $5, I would click on Adjust All Rates, choose whether it's a dollar amount or percent. In this example, it's a dollar amount, and it's an increase. I'm going to enter $5 as the increase under the board rate. And then we have the option to include appointments already created or just raise it for the selected breed. If we choose include appointments already created, any reservations from today's date forward that have a reservation with a breed rate attached to it, this will adjust the rate on that reservation as well. We have the prompts alerting to us to what we're agreeing to do. And now if we look, we'll find that we now have an increased rate of $55. You will also notice that if we select a breed without a board rate selected, that that rate has not been increased. Kennel Connection does not recognize zero as a rate in the system, so when using the Adjust Rates option under the Breeds tab, any pets with a zero dollar rate in there will not raise by the amount entered. Next, we have the weight classes. So if we're choosing the charge by pet weight, we can enter our classes here. To enter a class, click new weight class, enter the weight range from and to, and then enter the rate and save. If you have charge by pet weight selected in system options for the boarding tab, any reservation you create will have a rate applied based on the pet's weight. The pet's weight can be found on the pet card under the pet tab right here. If you have kennel connection set up the charge by pet weight and you have a pet with no weight recorded, the system will not add a rate to that reservation. The most common way to set up rates in Kennel Connection for boarding is through runs. When setting up runs and run sizes, we want to start with the Run Sizes tab. Here you will create your run sizes. Kennel Connection comes with the default large, medium, and small. These can be removed or modified. Also, the term run size is just a industry term that we use in the program the names of the run sizes you use do not necessarily have to be a size. They can be any type of indication that you need to describe a section of your facility. Be sure to click New Run Size when creating your run sizes. You'll enter your size name, the rate, the type of pet for that run size. And special rates for additional pets. These are multi-pet rates that will apply automatically if you book multiple pets in the same run. And we'll take a look at that shortly. Once you've created your run size, you go to the Run tab and create your runs. When creating runs, click the new Run button, enter the run number, and just like run sizes, run number is just an industry term that we use. You can use any type of name or number as long as you don't use special characters such as dollar sign, uh, percentage, etc. Just keep it to simple alphanumeric terms. So click new run, enter the run number or name, select the run size attached to that run. When you select the run size, the system will automatically take that run size rate and apply it to the run. If this is a run that you will be charging a different rate for besides the default run size rate, you can modify that now. 
if we change the run size attached to this run and it has a different rate, bad example, let's try another one, the system will ask if we want to adjust the rate to the new run size rate. In this case, I'm going to say yes. Also, you can add a description if, if necessary. And you have to choose the module that these runs will be applicable in. Since we're setting up rates for boarding, I'm going to choose boarding. Now, just like in the breeds tab, we do have an option for modifying rates on the schedule as well as here in the list section. And before I go over that, I want to take a brief moment to just explain specifically how rates apply in Kennel Connection. When you create a reservation in boarding, if I just drag this pet over, a rate will appear applied to this reservation based on the settings in the system. When I'm creating this reservation, I can modify that rate after it's been applied. If I'm making changes that would affect that rate, that can change as well. After I save this reservation, I can open it up again and change this rate if I want to make an adjustment to it. Once that rate is in the reservation, whichever rate is in the reservation when we create an invoice, that is where the system is getting that pricing from. The invoice you create for a boarding stay gets its rate from the reservation, not the system settings. The system settings indicate what rate will be applied to the reservation, and then the reservation indicates what rate will be applied to the invoice. Because of this, if we, for example, went into inventory and we were using that as our boarding rate, and I decided to change this rate to $12 today, any reservations that I have already created for future dates are not going to be affected by that change. Future, any reservations I create from, from now on will have the new rate, but if there are reservations in the future that I created previous to me changing this rate, they will not be affected. The only two areas where this is uh, not true or can be applied slightly differently is in the list section for breeds, where we saw we have the option to include appointments already created with that rate increase or decrease. And in the run section, where we have the option to choose adjust booking rates. So in this specific situation, if I have this run set at $25 and I have a rate increase that I want to add, and I want to change that rate for this run to $28, if I select adjust booking rates and then I click save to save that new rate, Kettle Connection is going to ask me if I want to adjust the run rate on bookings already created. Now, something very specific about this setting is if you'll notice, it is specifying it's changing the run rate from 25 to 28. If I say yes to this, it's going to ask me once again, if I want to change it, but it's going to specify that I want to adjust the run rate on bookings already created from 25 to 28. And then if I say yes again, it's going to ask for my admin ID. And this new alert is going to specify that this procedure will update all run rates for reservations from this date forward, only current, uh, only reservations from today going forward. And only for this run, where the rate matches the old rate of $25. So you want to keep that in mind if you decide to adjust your rates using this option to change future reservations as well on the schedule. If I have a reservation in this run that is not at $25, if it was modified to 20 or 22, or if for some other reason it has a different rate on there than 25, that reservation will not be modified. So it's a very specific setting that you need to be aware of when applying this so you aren't unaware of possible reservations not being modified on the schedule. So once again, just to clarify, when using the adjust booking rates option to change the rate of a run, it will allow me to adjust the rate of reservations from this date forward, but only if those reservations 
are adjusting from the same rate I am adjusting from here. Finally, we can also add boarding rates to pet cards. If I open up a specific pet in the system and go to the boarding tab, I can go to the default items section and enter a default boarding rate for this specific pet. Then any reservations made for this pet will apply this rate overriding any other rates set up in the system. And we can also choose the default run size so that the run size applies automatically as well when we make the reservation. So when creating a reservation, as we can see with this one, the pet's default rate has applied into the rate field. If I choose a run size and a run, and that rate is different than that, the system's going to ask me if I want to adjust the rate. I'll say yes at this point. So depending on how you're applying rates in the system, once they apply when creating this initial reservation, I still have the option to modify them. The only time you do not have this option, and let me just cancel out of this, is if you have chosen the system options to charge by run rate. Under that specific setting, when creating reservations in the system, Kennel Connection will apply the run rate to the reservation only and will not allow us to modify that. The only time you'll be able to see the rate applied to this reservation from the run is when creating an estimate or an invoice. Once you create the invoice, you can modify the rate there as well, but you're more locked in to the run rate and you are unable to modify that rate on the reservation when you have charge by run rate set up in the system options. So let's turn that back off. If you remember in the list section, when setting up run sizes, we have the option to add discounts for multiple pets staying in the same run. We can see that in action if we create a multi-pet booking here. And these first three pets are already booked, so I'm going to choose the bottom two. Now, in this case, the rate field has disappeared here as well, but that's because our rates are now going to show under the multi-pets tab. Once we've selected a run and run size, and go to the multi-pets tab, we'll see the run selected and we'll see the rates applied. So here we have the, the multi-pet discount showing. From the multi-pets tab, I can also change the runs, in which case the rate will change to match that run's rate. Also, if I change it the same run, we can see that multi-pet discount applying. We can also modify these rates. So this most importantly comes into play if I have a multi-pet rate, but I don't want to put the pets in the same run, but I still want to give them that rate. I can simply change the run for that other pet and adjust the rate manually. And I'm going to move this pet into a different run just because that one's booked. Once we save this multi-pet reservation, those pets will show on the schedule separately, and those rates w that were chosen in the multi-pets tab have applied. There's one final thing I want to go over briefly in this video, and this is going back to where invoices get their rates from when you are invoicing a boarding reservation. As I explained before, the invoice gets its rate from the reservation, not from the system. The system is where the reservation gets its rate from. If you find yourself in a situation where you create an invoice for a boarding reservation, and that rate is not the rate that it should be, the first thing you want to do is check to see if the rate showing on the invoice is the same rate showing on the reservation. 
if they are not the same, then the most likely cause of this is a discount is being applied to that boarding stay. The most common occurrence of this is discount setup in the discount loyalty setup section. So if this rate should be different than what it's showing right now, and the reservation is showing the, the correct rate, I want to go into the discount loyalty setup section and go into the boarding tab. Here we have two discounts that can apply to invoices when they're created for boarding. The first one is our general discount. This is applied after a certain number of visits. So if the pet has more than 10 reservations in the past, all future reservations will have this discount applied to the invoice. We also have the long-term discount option under boarding. This is a three-tiered option that allows us to apply a discount automatically based on the length of the boarding stay. So if your boarding invoices are showing a rate that is not the same as the reservation rate, check these settings to see if discounts are applying and if these discounts are unwanted, make the appropriate adjustments. So what we've just gone through are the basic setup and management of your board settings in Kennel Connection. To quickly recap, we went to the System Options section under the Boarding tab and show specific settings for how the Kennel Connection program is going to bill for boarding. We looked at the Inventory section and setting up a flat rate for everybody through the board item. Then in the list section, we looked at how to set up rates by breed, by weight, and by run, how to set up runs and run sizes properly. And we also looked at the ways in which rate changes for breeds and runs can also be applied to reservations already created in the system. If you have any other questions regarding setting up or managing your boarding rates in Kennel Connection, please feel free to contact the training department at Blue Crystal Software directly. You can do so by sending an email to training at bluecrystalsoftware.com or you can call directly at 888-486-4343 extension 307. Thank you.